Alpacas are cute, woolly, inquisitive and generally friendly. Turns out they could also help provide life-changing COVID treatment. As the world waits on a coronavirus vaccine, a treatment is just as important. The answer, somewhat surprisingly, may be these guys, alpacas, with their virus-busting antibodies that could one day be turned into a treatment for the global pandemic. Well, I guess it's a long-necked sheep is the short version of it, but they are gentle animals, they are inquisitive, they're very soft to handle. Vaccines are amazing, but we also think that antibody-based therapies could actually also fill a gap where people can't actually um, develop a good immune response. And now the curious and cute creatures could be key to our future of overcoming coronavirus. The alpacas are loved the world over, but if they can possibly be used to help with um, humans with a treatment for um, COVID-19, I'm sure people over the world would be really grateful for that. We particularly like the alpaca antibodies because we think that it may have a different way of stopping the virus from entering cells. Associate Professor Wei Hong Tam is leading the groundbreaking research at Melbourne's Walter and Eliza Hall Institute. No one really knows why alpacas make these special antibodies and there's speculation that perhaps um, these smaller antibodies can actually target proteins or virus proteins. The nanobodies inside an alpaca are uniquely small enough to fit into the spike protein of a COVID-19 particle. This process stops the virus's spike protein from being able to interact with the alpaca's cells, losing its ability to infect the animal. Researchers are now working to turn this discovery into an IV COVID-19 treatment for humans. What we want to be able to deliver is something that doesn't look like an alpaca antibody, but looks like a human antibody so that it's safe and also potent and can actually block um, virus infection. Yeah, I guess it really brings it close to home that our local alpacas are really helping the world. Linda Holdsworth runs an alpaca stud or Reval Alpacas. If an alpaca can help out and um, make some advancements in the treatment for um, COVID-19, that's a great thing. There is also hope across the border in New South Wales, where researchers say they've found a trial cancer drug could now be the key to a COVID treatment. We believe we would have the capability of supplying the world from here. Professor David Morris is from St George Hospital in Sydney. Along with his team of researchers, they have been looking at repurposing an existing cancer cancer drug Bromac to fight COVID-19. At present we think that this treatment will render the virus non-infective. Certainly our laboratory tests indicate that. The cancer drug dissolves the spike protein of the COVID cells. Administered as a nasal spray, the mist renders the COVID-19 cells non-infective in the nose and throat, stopping coronavirus from infecting and spreading to the rest of the body. We have a great team of people who are working very hard on this, not just here in Sydney, um, but in Melbourne, and indeed we have collaborators in France and in the United States. Professor Morris says there are already a million doses of the treatment ready to use, and we could also supply it to the world. The next step, though, are clinical trials, which are set to get underway in Melbourne in a week or two. They will be focusing on people who have been recently infected with this virus. That will include members of the public as well as healthcare workers. And in the meantime, the professor admits he has put his own body on the line. My nose is intact. If I don't uh, go to jail for saying so, yes. The Walter and Eliza Hall Institute is looking to start animal trials in October and clinical trials early next year.